All right, students, this is part two of the household and metric system. Find my marker. to finish showing you number seven, eight point six grams equals how many milligrams? Okay. So if I'm going from grams to milligrams, grams is here, and milligrams is here. So I want to move my decimal one, two, three units to the right. One, two, three. Fill these blank spaces in with zeros. And it, it will be 8,600 milligrams. Okay, I think you have got a good handle on that. Now let's move to the household systems. Okay, so let's look at 10. I want to make sure I give you a variety of examples. No, 11. 11 is going to give you a good example. All right, 11 is six teaspoons equals how many tablespoons? Hmm, it's time for, I don't even know where to start. Well, for starters, you're not going to be looking at the, the chart that we have here, the King Henry chart. That is not where you will find um, the household. So where we're gonna find that is in your textbook. So everyone turn to page 102 and 103 in your math for nurses book. starting with number 11 as an example, number 11. So I have six teaspoons equals how many tablespoons? Okay, now this is when you're going to have to set it up like a proportion, all right, on your household measurement as opposed to just moving the decimal on the metric system. So on pages 102 and 103 is where you have the household measures. You have your uh, metric equivalents, okay? So I'm looking for a teaspoon and tablespoon. What kind of connection do they have, okay? So teaspoon to tablespoon. So three teaspoons is under the word volume. Three teaspoons equals a tablespoon, okay? So three teaspoon equal one tablespoon, okay? And the reason why it's a one is because it's nothing else in front of it. If it just says TBSP, it stands for one, just one tablespoon. Okay. They gave me six teaspoons, so this is what you're gonna put here, just like we set up in chapter four. It's the exact same thing in chapter four. I want you to cross multiply. So three teaspoons times X equals one times six is six tablespoons times teaspoon. And you want to always write your units, always, because units are so important in nursing. I want X to be all by itself, so I want to get rid of the three teaspoons so that X is all by itself. Okay, this will cancel. Okay, the teaspoons will cancel. Six divided by three is two. So two tablespoons is the correct answer. Okay, and the more you do it, the more you become more familiar with it. We're not done yet, okay? So that was number 11. Okay, let's try 12, okay? Three pints equals how many quarts? Okay, quarts. Okay, so we're going back to, I'm looking at page 103 and um, 102 as well. 102, 103. So I'm looking for the 
conversion. Okay, so I'm looking for pint and quart. Pint and quart. Okay, does anybody see it? It's right here. Two pints, and then they have the word QT. So two pints equals one quart. in a proportion set up. Well, they gave you three pints just in chapter four when we did medical dosage. So you're gonna put the pints here at the top and your variable, whatever variable you choose, X, Z, T, and now I want you to cross multiply. Okay. So two pints times X, one times three is three quarts per pint. Your next step is, you want X to be isolated, okay? To be all by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by two pints. Cancel, and you're gonna have three over two quarts, okay? Now, if I'm at the store and I say, get me three over two quarts, I don't know, people may look at me like, what in the world? So I want you to divide that. All right, so three divided by two is one and a half. That sounds more um, like something you would say if you were saying, give me a, a half a pint, give me a pint and a half, okay? Give me a quarter and a half, you know, things of that nature. 1.5 quarts. Okay, and that could be for um, fluids, um, things you may need uh, in the hospital. Okay. All right, copy down 13. Let's try another one. Let's try 13. Copy down 13 for me. Two tablespoons equals how many teaspoons? Okay. So again, page 103 is what I'm looking at. So tablespoons and teaspoons. So here where it says tablespoon, the unit tablespoon, it has three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Okay, you always want to stack it on top of each other, not side by side, not vertical. Um, vertical, not horizontal. Okay. Okay. Two tablespoons, the tablespoon goes here. That means X has to go here because you're going to match units to units, just like in chapter four, matching units. Okay. So one tablespoon, I'm sorry, TBSP. You're going to have to get it right. Don't bother me if I don't get it right. Okay, one tablespoon times X equals three times two is six. So six teaspoons times tablespoons. All right, next I want you to divide both sides by one tablespoon because I want X to be the isolated variable to be all by itself. So one TBSP, one TBSP. I keep putting that in my mind. Okay, those cancel out. Leave me with six divided by one is six teaspoons. Okay, six teaspoons. Okay, remember this was 1.5. Okay, so you definitely need to show your work on these so I will, um, so I'll know that you really understand the concept of, you know, the proportion um, format and the method, and it will get easier. So these are just some practice problems. This is not your homework assignment. Your homework assignment is going to come out of your textbook, and it is on your assignment sheet, and it has the due date when they are due as well. So hopefully that made sense, and um, I will start on chapter six shortly.